Thanks for tuning in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement. Well, it's been a tough day for Fox News since many internal messages are now very public thanks to a legal filing as part of the $1.6 billion lawsuit by Dominion Voting Systems against Fox News that has revealed just what was said behind the scenes by nightly trash hucksters Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, and more. The entertainment channel for Married Cousin's biggest stars regularly mocked the narrative being pushed by defeated former President Donald Trump and others in his orbit of stupid who claim that the election was rigged, such as P.F. Chang's dumpster-headed lawyer Rudy Giuliani and pillow manufacturer gone mad Mike Lindell. But if you lose, you lose with dignity. You shake the other person's hand and you walk away. I didn't lose, so I'm not doing that. You know, I had that haircut when I was 12. Well, you did lose, and this week your case was rejected by Arizona courts. Again, the second ruling against your sore loser efforts to get the job you have zero qualifications for, but it has not stopped this filter-faced former Fox host from going full diaper dawn and turning an election loss into a gigantic grift. It is pouring MAGA tears. Fox News messages reveal that they never believed the lies peddled by Trump, his lawyers, and others, and I dig into the texts and have a laugh with the latest and stupid, including Wampa Merkin Jack at MTG trying to link whale deaths to wind, Taryn to Don Jr., have a brand new Carrie Lake round of Choose Your Fighter, check to see if the socks stay on with Marjorie Taylor Greene and Alex in the bunker, and more. The guy who loves powder but never hits the slopes tweeted, hear about the train derailments in Ohio, Texas, and South Carolina from the mainstream media, but American Greatness wants you to be in the know. Sign up for the free newsletter to get the news uncensored. What do you have to lose? Naturally, I replied, will your uncensored news mention how Diaper Dawn reversed? Obama's safety rule requiring trains that carry dangerous goods to install electronically controlled brakes that reduce the risk of derailments. The only rails you care about are the ones on your Ted Nugent CD case. In March 2001, Dominion filed this lawsuit against Fox News, alleging that during the 2020 presidential election, the network recklessly disregarded the truth and pushed various pro-Donald Trump conspiracy theories about the election technology company because the lies were good for Fox's business. Fox News denied Dominion's claims and insisted it is proud of its 2020 election coverage. Proud of their election coverage. Well, the text messages brutally reveal that chairman of Fox, Rupert Murdoch, himself didn't believe Trump's election lies and wanted his main three hosts to have a primetime joint broadcast to declare Joe Biden the winner of the election. Behind the scenes, panic set in at Fox, and they actually went after those at the network who were simply fact-checking some of the election lies. Brett Bayer was one pushing for such fact checks, and in one case when Jackie Heinrich, a Fox White House correspondent, fact checked a Trump tweet pushing election fraud, Carlson actually texted Hannity, please get her fired. Seriously, what the F? I'm actually shocked. It needs to stop immediately, like tonight. It's measurably hurting the company. Again, these people do not care about you or the country. Hannity let Tucker know that he'd spoken to a Fox executive, Suzanne Scott, and the fact check tweet was quickly deleted. Now, Jackie Heinrich was totally unaware of this until the lawsuit revealed the messages and claims to have been blindsided. Yeah, you work at Fox. What do you expect? And I just love this so much. Sean Hannity said, Giuliani was acting like an insane person. And Ingram said, he's an idiot. Even Rupert Murdoch felt it was really bad that Giuliani was advising Trump. The court documents also revealed that at the time, Mike Lindell was one of their largest sponsors and that when he was negative about Fox on Newsmax, Fox execs exchanged a bunch of emails about alienating him and they even sent him a gift along with a handwritten note from Suzanne Scott since Fox had a strong motive to welcome him on air and avoid rebutting his baseless claims. Now, Lindell denies ever getting a gift or a note, but this is the guy who still thinks his lawsuit is about defamation, spent a year calling it Rocco, and changes his story every day. With uh, that meeting, to get it so that if you voice your First Amendment right of free speech, you can, if you voice your First Amendment right of free speech, you can get sued easier.
this lawyer, this Libby Locke, horrible, horrible, horrible person. First remembrant right. Is this like your right to try and remember the Constitution? Kind of makes me think about Adam Frisch throwing those bombs to Boebert back in the debate that she just went along with, you know, to like repeal the 19th Amendment. In this exchange with Laura Ingram and Tucker, Ingram said, Sydney is a complete nut. No one will work with her. Ditto with Rudy Giuliani. That's Sidney Powell, Trump's lawyer. Tucker Carlson said Sidney Powell is lying. <laughs> Tucker Carlson also sent messages warning. Trump is the undisputed world champion of destroying things. He will destroy us if we play it wrong. And also said he's a demonic force, a destroyer, but he's not going to destroy us. This clip has been shared a lot, but it was inaudible. Thankfully, my software got to the bottom of just what they were saying. You're like Ivanka. Thanks, she's so beautiful. <laughs> How much? For what? <laughs> he is wild, man. I pay for this one already. Okay. So you need to find the other lady to unsatisfy with the little mushroom. Just 15, 20 seconds, that's all I need, okay? I'm not sure. I don't know why AOC isn't dressed in white and crying for the dead whales that keep washing on the beach um, from wind farms that are being placed all over the ocean. And people are calling the alarms over how this is not only killing unknown thousands of bird species, but also causing whales to beach themselves at record numbers. Does she think wind turbines are so powerful that they can blow whales to shore? Since she and the rest of the right-wing lunatics love to crap on wind power, let me say again. Wind turbines convert the kinetic energy of wind to generate large amounts of electricity. 1.17 million birds are killed by wind turbines in the U.S. each year. This is a lot of birds, but it's only 0.016% of the estimated 7.2 billion birds that live in the U.S. It is also significantly less than the 5 to 6.8 million killed each year by communication towers, the 60 to 80 million killed by automobiles, the 67 to 90 million killed by pesticides, or the 365 million to 1 billion killed by cats each year in the U.S., or the billion killed by flying into windows. Come on, MTG, let's see rail against cats, cars, and skyscrapers. Everywhere is red. You take out the computer manipulation and it's the reddest country you've ever seen. Okay? But... Saying something again and again does not make it true. We're still waiting on that red wave, Mike. The Dominion lawsuit states, Fox sold a false story of election fraud in order to serve its own commercial purposes, severely injuring Dominion in the process. Anyone that sees any coverage on Fox knows that they have pushed this narrative and helped to create immense distrust in democracy. And now these messages reveal just that. They didn't believe a thing and were doing it all for the money. My favorite part of her losing in court, again, is that Carrie Lake's own cybersecurity expert confirmed that any misconfigured ballots or ballots that on-site tabulators could not read for other reasons could be submitted physically through Secure Door 3, duplicated into a readable ballot by a bipartisan board at Maricopa County's Central Tabulation Facility and were ultimately counted, the court said. Now here's desperate Carrie at her rallies trying to equate a bingo hall full of Kool-Aid drinkers to the entire state voting for her. But this is all about the money, and she's like Trump trying to get as much out of these people as possible. Okay, so the place goes under attack. We're talking diehard style. Choose your fighter. Is it going to be all flag and no pull? Confused Newman thinks this is a Seinfeld convention. Camo Karen. Or dollar store Kenny Powers. Let me know in the comments. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie. Again, good dude. My Georgia gremlin kept things a fluid this week by trying to bring awareness to the whales that keep showing up on the shores of this year flat earth, thanks to the wind farms that are basically a, uh, a sky vitamix for bald eagles and humpback whales. If we need power, we'll do it the right way with coal and diesel, okay? I'm gonna release a cologne just for our patriot supporters that I promise will replicate the joy of wrapping those lips chapped from screaming at fast food workers around the exhaust pipe of an American muscle car. And I will bundle it with our best-selling Patriot Blonde Meat Swan tampons that are made from genuine 50 caliber shells that we here at Dimfo Wars personally guarantee were fired at villages of evil foreign women and children, okay? 
Since MTG's been so passionate about the whales this week, I thought I would surprise her by doing some Netflix and chill with marine movies. First up, we did the Star Trek Voyage Home film, and she was not into it, but got pretty excited when she realized Shatner is a Jewish and also carries a, uh, space laser. It's like she was totally validated, but it wasn't long before the Klingon ambassador showed up, and I had to shut it off, since the skin on her feet is more Klingon than human. In fact, it's like if you kept one in a Trump border cage and pumped it full of processed cheese and dollar store chocolate, then the blistered shopping cart hot dog skin would still look like a Nivea commercial compared to the missing digit epidermal disaster that my fun host Mirror Mickey Rourke looking love beast has lurking below the shin. We are talking a set of 7.5 bacon off cut toes that you could slot into any Hobbit film and still save millions on CGI, but no person will be exposed to this site because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. And here's another gem from Tucker Carlson who said of Mike Lindell, he is on the crazy train with no brakes. This is correct, Tucker. And since we're talking brakeless trains, I hope that you stick around after this video and watch my other video this week on Trump derailing safety regulations. I need your help. Please make sure you have my notifications on. It is something small that really helps out YouTube creators such as myself and allows you to catch my videos as soon as they come out, whether it's on my regular schedule or not. Thank you so much. Twitter gate is exposing the corruption and the crack hunter will expose Burden as the liar he is. Mega tears. You poor little things. Your party will have all your men breastfeeding by mid-year. Maga tears. I see the Pop Tart is still trying to make comedy. Maga tears. Teflon Dawn 2024. Maga tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video and following me on social media. This costs you nothing and makes a huge difference. I am a one man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. If you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my merch that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, have toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years, and I have three albums that you can stream on Spotify and Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for watching. Life's short, be cool, be kind, take care.